It's a very good evening, a very warm welcome to Holker Street. Manorama National League action here on BBC Cumbia Sport as Barrow take on Eastleigh, trying their hardest now to push themselves out of the bottom four where they dropped following the defeat to Leighton Orient at the weekend. And fortunately, so three changes made from the side that was involved in that defeat. Coming in, Tony Deanne in for the injured Callum McDonald. Asa Hall coming in for Dan Jones, with Lewis Walters coming in for Jordan White. A 4-2-3-1 formation for the Bluebirds. The game does get underway then. Barrow attacking the Steelworks end of the ground in the first half. And straight away, Kingsley James flicks the ball into the box. Luke James gets free. Gets a shot across the face of goal. And not even 15 seconds on the clock. Golden chance there for Barrow. He drank it wide. He wasn't far away, was he? Vicente Gomez with the ball now in the attacking area. Holding the ball up well by the corner flag. Looking for options. Rolls it back to Lewis Walters. Walters into the box. James gets there, attacks it. Taken well, though, by Graham Stack in the Eastley goal. Into the Barrow half. Rolled on to Zabrowski. Out wide here. Brings it into the middle. Having a run at Tony Dean. Gets into the box. Cuts it back. Taken well there by Oli Cook on his chest. Gets it clear for Barrow. And rolls it out to Nathan Waterston over on this left-hand side. Nice switched ball, looking for Lewis Walters. Who gets his acceleration on and gets onto the ball here now on that right-hand side for Barrow. Walters brings it into the middle, still going. Has a go at goal, Lewis Walters takes a deflection and it will be a corner to Barrow. The does eventually blow the whistle. Pushing and shoving, still going on between Togwell and Waterston as the corner swung into the area. Header comes in from Nathan Waterston. Wide of goal, and it will be a goal kick, much to the shouts from Barrow for otherwise. So still nil-nil the scoreline here, we've played ten minutes. Uh, Going to head to Kendall shortly, but an opportunity coming here to Barrow on the edge of the box. Ben Senti Gomez, can he wriggle free, plays it back to Walters. Walters curls in a goal, takes a deflection off Cresswell and it goes for the corner. <laughs> Lewis Walters again, the man to take it. Some more bit of pushing and shoving going on in the box. Corner swung into the box, it goes, Ace of Hall attacks it! And puts it in the bottom corner of the goal! And it's a big goal for the captain, putting Barrow in front. 14 minutes played, 1-0. Great ball in, lots of movement from Hall. Nobody tracked him at all from Eastleigh. Just had to bend down, have a look. Knew the far post was totally free. Stooped in here and put a crack in it. He wasn't, he wasn't only, say, three, four yards out. Hall there, he was penalty spot when he headed it. Come up tonight with a massive one, as you said. Great captain's goal gives the opportunity now to get a foothold and get that big second one. Second goal for the Bluebirds. His first goal came in the defeat against Solihull. And again for Mesa Hall there. He finds Gomez. He sends it over the top for James. James rolls it into the middle. Lewis Walters going for it. Gavin Hoyt gets back, puts it out of play for another throw in here to Barrow. Tackle there for Mesa Hall. Now Kingsley James again, Barrow trying to get over the top to try and release the pacey men up front. McComa, now Walters. Nice hold up play here from Walters. McComa wanted the ball rolling to him. Walters in the end ignores him and now lifts it into the box. Luke James is there attacking it. Trickles right across the face of goal. Towards the corner of the penalty area over on that left-hand side as Yates spends it right towards the back post. Plucked out of the air there by Arnold. Very good goalkeeping there from the Bluebird stopper. Fitzpatrick takes some place on the front post. The corner's taken, into the box it goes. Zabrowski gets his head onto it, goes towards that front post. The flag is up as the ball does go in the back of the net, but it won't count. Eastley were wheeling away in celebration, but the flag was already up there. So often, you know, and it ends up usually with the ball ending up at some time in our net. We don't want that tonight, we can't afford it to happen. The ball's played through again as Zabrowski now sprinting through, takes it round Steve Arnold, rolls it into the empty nets, and Eastley have got themselves that equaliser. Barrow switching off completely, and now they need to push on, don't they? You know, and that ball was just a straight ball through the middle. I said before, Zabrowski was the danger man because he started to run the lines well. Similar to what James did in the first half for us, where he caused all sorts of trouble. And he's just got away in free space there. He went round him neatly, didn't he, Zabrowski, and just stuck it into that empty net. Almost turning Oli Cook. Steve Arnold comes out, clears a long ball upfield. Fitzpatrick trying to get onto it. Now Nathan Waterston. He's been pushed up front for Barrow. They've got more 4-4-2 now 
with the arrival of Fitzpatrick. Luke James, edge of the box, rolls it into the area. Lewis Walters, good save there by Stack. McComber shoots on the box, brilliant finish by Donovan McComber! A bad over, he gained the lead! Fantastic strike, wasn't it? But started really well. Ball was picked up by Kingsley James initially, drove it into the edge of the box. Mark Luke James picks it up, turns away from Marshall. He couldn't dress well, he couldn't get anywhere near him, dress well. James could have took the shot on there, but no, he sees Walters free right hand side, feeds it into Walters. Walters has a cracking effort, keeper saves it, comes out edge of the box, and McCormick looked at it as if to say, What do I do with this? Did the right thing, smashed it into the empty bottom corner. here around about 30 yards from goal as Yates is the man to take it bends it into the box towards that post header comes in bounces right across the face of goal and able to get around the number three Michael Green easily have the ball again inside their own half Matthews into the chest it goes off the number 25 Williamson now Barrow are breaking again and again it's Waterston taking it forward gets away from Hoyt brilliant turn by Waterston off oh, the inside of the post comes to Walters and it's deflected it. into the bottom corner and Barrow now with 10 minutes to go here at Holker Street it's Barrow 3 Eastley 1 well he made that last run Waterston did he and it, the ball from James was flicked onto him he went in and he met a challenge on the new keeper that had come on and I looked like I think he looked like he got hurt to me but he came back out of the penalty area slowly holding his shins and then the ball into his feet he just electrified himself again in past the defender what an effort hit the far post comes back out and we've been it's been kind to us tonight Adam dropped to Walters Walters dispatches one as good as McCormick they've took the chances tonight and they're leading 3-1 you know good on him it's been a good game to watch as well your head goes down and that's what they've just got to do Barrow Ball's rolled into the box, maybe here now for Eastley. Defending to do it the other end. Yates squeezes it through the gap. Chance comes in, tucked into the bottom corner of the goal. Eastley have got themselves back into the game. Barrow switching off at the back. And in the closing stages now it is Barrow 3, Eastley 2. The Bluebirds now just to keep their heads. We'll have to see how much injury time there will be played at the end of this game. The fourth official has the board in his hands. I get James on the halfway line. Go on long clearance, you're in. Flitney has come up here for Eastley. The ball goes into the box, taken by Steve Arnold. You don't want Steve Arnold dropping down on the deck there. You want him launching that ball forward. So Eastley with the ball now inside their own half. Rolled through. Zabrowski has got away from Oli Cook. Musa Diara going away from now to make a place at the front post. Zabrowski in the penalty area. Barrow need to see this out. Flick forward. Diara gets there. Headed out of play there by Luke James, who's back defending. And Barrow have everybody now back in their own penalty area. Managed a clearance, but we've got to defend this. Corner swung into the box. It goes right across the face of goal. Still not cleared. Yates chips it towards the top corner. Comes back. Still not cleared. Back across it is. Shot comes in off the crossbar. I think it was by Fleetney. Barrow clearing away off the line. And McCormick will just hammer the ball clear. And the referee has blown finish. the final whistle. Dramatic end to the game here at Holker Street. But the Bluebirds have picked up three massive points. Well, what a finish at the end. That corner came in from that, you know, escape we got away with. Zabrowski loaded the far post. And the first header was Moose's, and then the second header was Baresi's to get it off the line for the corner. The corner comes in, big scramble goes up, the ball gets knocked across, it's the far post, comes out, Arnold's on the floor under a bunch of players. Their keeper dives full length, heads it against the crossbar, it comes out again, Barrow clear it. <sighs> They've won the game 3-2, how did that happen? I feel like I've been running around out there myself today. How did that happen? But it did. We've been waiting a long time for that, mate. Fantastic. I'm over the moon for him because hopes happened. They've gone out and put a bit of a performance in. Eastley, you know, they, they also did their bit because they came and didn't just try and shut up shop, as you said, didn't run around doing nothing. They came to try and win a game as well. It's made it a cracking football match for the 800 that come and all those people, them 32 from Eastley, clap for them as well. But that's great. You know, and at the end of the day, we've got the three points that we've waited a long time for. A thrilling game of football here at Holker Street. I think it's safe to say it's had absolutely everything. But the main thing it's had is three points for the Bluebirds. They have closed the gap to just a point of escaping that bottom four. It's finished here. Barrel three. 
easily too.